last few days but looks like the fog is back look at my windshield dirty let me get the little sprayer thing on it it's not early it's what 6:53. after the donut shop i got a thermometer to replace on a walk-in that's an easy one and then i got this i had a customer call about an evap cooler that was leaking water into the restaurant see how that one goes. We have to get access through this old theater to get to the roof. Then we'll see if the uh, why that evaporator cooler is spraying into the building. See if the water is uh, how the water is circulating on that evaporator. So let's get out there. Foggy morning. Nice little surprise. squeaky freezer to look at. Look at Tippins is he figured out how to lean up against the waters. Smart move, Tippo. Get the knee pads on this boogie. Okay, I thought this one was still running, but it's not. The neighbor right there through there is dumping hot air right into here. And the coil on that one's really plugged. Super hot. This is coming out. Let's see if we get a laser beam on it. 134 was my highest. 
150 165 Woo. Roasty. She's definitely coming out of there. Was that usually seven millimeter? I just brought it outside to the truck. Make life easy. Seven millimeter. So probably with all the hot water weather yesterday, they said they cleaned the coil on this one. This thing was squeaky. I think I, this morning it was kind of thermal. I don't think it was moving much air. I'll put the freshie in. Freshie condenser fan motor. I got fooled by that other unit. I thought that other unit was my unit running. But the other one, the coil on that thing was pluggered, dumping all the heat right into this guy. Okay. There's that one. Whoo, that thing is hot, hot. Melt your fingers off. What's the one that I carry is uh is the Mars Packard. Oh, I gotta get a couple 5411s. What's the Packard number on this guy? PSQ 9CW115. There it is. fit Capers to let her rip. They're rolling the dice over here. They're lucky some eco terrorist doesn't come over and bark at them. Wah, you're killing the environment because you're running your motor. Wah. Re, re, re. Okay. I like to save. I like to save these. Get you out of a pickle sometime. I just dump them in my, my dump zone. Dope dump zone. There's that guy deader. Deader than dead. I'll 
put this away. We'll get back in there and carry on with the show. I picked this little kit up on Amazon one time. And then I got metrics and standards all in the roll around. I love this roll around bag. It comes in handy a lot. All right, we got this and this. Let's go get this back together. I gotta see if this thing will run. All right, we're in our time delay. When the snowflake flashes, compressor delay. Should get compressor and fans for evaporator fans. Then we should start doing it. We got compressors, we got fans. We'll double check our event fans. Copy that. charge. <clears throat> we'll see. Dust off. this fan here for right now too even though it's foggy outside don't let it fool you it's hot as hell in here so it's been hot the last few days Seventeen when I got here, got the condenser changed out, fan motor, and we did deep coil cleaning. And the big thing we found was the neighbor blowing all the hot air into this compartment. So it's just rebreathing hot air. And that condenser fan motor, I'm pretty damn sure it stalled out. So heading in the right direction. Heading in the right direction. So, off to the next one. All right, got the freezer done, it's fixed. Then I stopped off on the way back down here, I didn't show you guys, I just had to put a thermometer in a walk-in box. You know, the old analog thermometer on the outside, two inch dial. Now we're gonna come over to this other one. I told her I'd be there at 10 o'clock, it's 9.24. So hopefully I can get a good parking spot. This guy's gonna go catch some waves. What's he riding? Soft top? Check. The old wave storm. It's been flat as a pancake, but we actually got a couple little waves going right now, so you could actually surf. It's been flat for like two weeks. Don't let the fog fool you, man. We've been having a heat wave, so this is what happens on the coast. 
is you'll get the, the fog in the morning, it'll burn off, and then it'll be hot as all hellfire again. That's what it does. All right. What's nice today is all three of my little jobs this morning are all pretty much close together. So I had it all lined out to go ping, 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 pong. So that was my plan and so far it's working out pretty good so I've never been on the roof here so we got to see so she's basically got hot enough for her to turn on her evap cooler so the restaurant has an evap cooler and she said it was leaking water into the restaurant yesterday and I bet they wanted it on it was probably hot as hell in there oh look at little slug bug he was getting sideways around the curve right there yeah, it's a um, convertible Volkswagen. Oh, look, there's another Volkswagen. Maybe they're having a Volkswagen party. And, uh... So I told her to just turn it off. She's all... She said she'd called a bunch of people. She goes, I called a lot of places and everybody's booked out two weeks. So I guess nobody does emergency service calls anymore. I can't do emergency service calls because I'm at the day job. Which I ended up working late last night. We had this, uh, I had a walk-in box that I ended up, it was so iced up, I ended up finding the fan circuit was shorted out. I had to replace a bunch of wiring. It has this crazy control section. It's not like a normal walk-in box. And it was so iced up that the ice had melted into the box, through the floor of the box, through the floor, it was on the third floor, and it flooded out an office on the second floor. So I had to stay late, make sure I got all the source of the water dripping done, which means I had to get all the ice out of there. <clears throat> it was a flat coil, and it, I'd never seen a coil that iced up in my life. So it probably ran and ran and ran for weeks without the fans blowing. Um, and I had my helper up there, Logan, and we melted ice for hours and hours and hours and shot back to water, so that was... Yeah, it was a good time out. Good, good time out. So yeah, I wasn't doing any emergency calls yesterday either. I was working at the day job. That's my number one priority. So. I'll come on over here, we'll get a parking spot, wait for the customer. I think the owner of the theater's gotta let me up to the roof, so. evap cooler leaking water it's got to be it's either deteriorated or the sprayers aren't spraying right and it's spraying water down into the inlet something like that for the water to actually get into the building so it should be hard to diagnose the cure-all is right don't run the evap cooler I bet it was hot as heck in that place yesterday for the last two days. Probably 90 degrees inside the restaurant. Easy. And that happens here because a lot of places don't have air conditioning here. The houses don't. A lot of commercial buildings do have air conditioning, but a lot of the restaurants don't. So. That's what happens. Oh, we're coming up here. Oh, quick yeller. Oh, yeller light turned red on me. Right when I was getting my momentum going. So we'll tune back in when we get up on the roof there. Shaka. All right, that's where we're going. The restaurant's right over here where the blinds are down. And I'm going up on this roof to check the evap cooler. That was scheduled for a 10 o'clock kickoff. I'm a half hour early. Let's see how this works out. All right, here's the unit. It's a York. Definitely had been leaking water. So where I got to so far is I verified the fan works. Um, the coils aren't super dirty. They don't have to turn the powder. You can see through them, both coils. I haven't got into the cooling section yet. 
Um, I'm gonna put a peach, I had no peach trap, so I'm building a peach trap for it right now. And I just dumped a bunch of water down the drain to make sure it drains. And it seems to be draining. I'm gonna grab a little more water. So I'm not sure if that drain pan's rusted out. It's pretty common on the Yorks that drain pans would rust out. So finish the, the pea trap and I'll get some more water through it. Oh, the filters were plug up, plug up to the max. So we're gonna get some filters and carry on here. Oh, there it is. The fog is burned off and it's it got warm. Had to put the cooler on. Check it out. Max AC. I just turned it on. That air conditioner, it was an old York. I didn't get to film a lot because the landlord was up there with me. So um, I couldn't get the drain pan, confirm the drain pan was a leaker or not. And I get my seatbelt on. And uh, to me, it looked like it had iced up. There was so much water. So I think it was an ice up, but we ran it. I redid the drain. It's draining good now. And I got the uh, fill piece probes on there. And of course, I couldn't remember my stupid password for that app. I hate that freaking login on that thing. I really do. I know I've cried about it before. But I did remember the password. Something like F you or you suck or something like that. Because <laughs> it sucks. And what else? Yeah. So this, the charge was good on that thing, so it actually had good charge. Yeah, they got a little shindig going on it. We all ride at the Fun Motorcycle Shop. All right. A little swap meet going down. Very cool. Yeah, so the charge was good. Things running. So, I honestly didn't find out the main re Oh, the filters were plugged. Did I say the filters were plugged? Plugged to the max. And no P-trap. So, and they only run the air conditioner like, what, five, six times a year? So, hopefully we got it to where it'll work now. And it seems to be working, so. Off to the next one. chill check on the AC what do we got 44 degrees 44 degree air coming out that ain't too that ain't too skinny right there that's pretty good the old 2003 Chevy Astro hanging tough 44 banger gosh we just barely got it going we haven't even gone a half mile that's really good really good really good all right, if you like the video, please smash the like button. If you have not yet subscribed, please smash the subscribe. Share it, like it, help a brother out, and we'll see you on the next video. Maybe, hopefully I can get some good interesting ones for you guys. Lately, not so much, but we're working on it. Oh, hopefully I'll get caught up on some live stream. We get the live streams going again on Fridays. This Friday I had to work overtime at the day job. It was a disaster. But, yeah. Hopefully going into the fall we could get the Friday Night Lives going. <laughs>